Give a ready report and go weapons hot. Ready up. This is Hannibal. Ready up. This is Rufus. Ready up. Castle. Spectre Lance is ready up. Roger, Commander. You're a little over a kilometer out from the first checkpoint. Their ground radar will pick you up before you spot them. Make your best speed to Alpha. Acknowledged. Moving on Alpha. Full throttle. Rendezvous at the designated nav point. Copy. Roger, lead. Roger, six. And as we start this mission out, I am telling my Lance to head straight for the nav point. And that way they will lead me to it and they won't just follow me. And I'm doing that because they will attack first and take more damage than that. And here's a neat feature that MechWarrior 4 has is that you can fire uh, sideways using, using your arms. I can't really see that direction, but... Uh, Little fella. Don't you can fire that way too. Roger. And I'm gonna go ahead and tell my lance to attack target. the closest target. Roger, Roger, and I'm being targeted. That's not nice. Uh, so if you're not too familiar with Mech Warrior games, it's important to torso twist, which means that you really want to strafe around your targets. And not run into a freaking tree or whatever that was. And if you uh, strafe properly, you're not going to take nearly as much damage. Because you can dodge stuff. I know, what a concept. That was a little bit of overkill, but that's okay. And I'm just going to destroy this thingy turret control. Um, there's another neat thing that this game adds uh, to on top of the previous games is that uh, much like in the game Mech Commander in that series, uh, you can take out you know control towers and uh, power generators and that will render certain defenses like turrets and gates useless, which is a really cool feature I think. And where the heck is my lance? I'm going to go ahead and tell them to form up. Because I think we're getting a little too far away from each other. And that's not the best thing. Oh, no it's not. So I've got an Owens attacking me here. And I'm going to back off a little bit. You know, if my mech lance was here with me, and they're way off at the stupid nav point alpha, if they were with me, they would be able to defend me a little bit. And it's important in a mech to use hills and terrain to your advantage, because you can actually use it for cover. So you can see right now that I can sort of move up to this hill, pop up, hit him, and then back down the hill if... There we go. Roger, Let me go ahead and tell my Roger, Lance to take this guy out. That's a Roger. Roger. He's going to die pretty soon. He's, uh, his arms are both pretty much dead, and that's what most of his weapons are. Now to really destroy a mech, what you have to do in, in this is to destroy both legs or the torso completely. Or the uh, or the cockpit. Target eliminated. Target's destroyed. And you don't want to get too close to these guys because they really explode and they go off a shockwave that'll damage you. So now we just have to get to nav. Oh, I haven't destroyed all of nav alpha yet, so I'm gonna go back and do that before we get too far away. Rendezvous at the designated nav point. Roger, Lee. Roger. Roger, Lee. Uh, what was I saying? Right, you have to destroy both legs or the torso. In previous MechWarrior games, it uh, did function a little differently. In MechWarrior 2, if you destroyed one leg, uh, they would just stop moving. And, it would, and I mean, you could use jump jets, but that was about it. And in... Mech Warrior in uh, 3, if you blow up one leg, 
then they would die. That would be it. There's an unpiloted uh, hell spawn down here. That's pretty cool. And you have to blow up the tents. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And looks like that hell spawn came up minus a pilot. In MechWarrior Three, salvage. as awesome as that game is, it's still my favorite in the series. Uh, it's kind of broken in terms of you can destroy one leg of a mech and they're just dead. And that was not very hard to do because you had mouse aim with the, the arms. So let's tell my guys to get to Nav Gamma. The designated nav point. Roger, lead. Roger that. Here is slowing down a little bit. Okay. Um right, what was I saying? Uh so in this game that is an improvement that when you uh, get one leg destroyed, you just uh slow your, your movement down. You sort of limp. And I, I think that's pretty pretty good. Uh, I think it loops around this way. So, that's a, a good feature of this. In the original MechWarrior 4, not the expansion or the mech packs or anything like that, uh, you couldn't actually destroy limbs. Like, you could disable them, but they wouldn't actually be destroyed. Which sucked, in my opinion. So, in... Uh, this release, though, I'm not sure if it's just the uh, MechWarrior 4 Merc Mercenaries expansion mercs, or if it's uh, the result of the mech pack from the amazingly Jobbers awesome mech tech. Good work, oh. Take Focus all fire on this target. Target. Um, But in any case, you can actually uh, just blow off limbs in this game, which is a welcome change. And I'm going to try and get behind him, because the armor is a lot weaker back there. Ceasefire, that's a friendly. And my guy's walking right in front of my sea streaks. So you can see on uh, the damage meter on the bottom left that I'm really focusing a lot of fire right in the, s in the center torso, because I think as it should be, and that's the fastest way to kill a man. If you just focus all your fire really quickly on the center, take out the designated that'll take target. it out. Now right. I've got a Puma incoming. I'm going to get my guys to focus all fire on him. And I missed with that, but that's okay. And these MRMs don't have lock-on, which I really don't like. Nav point beta reached. Puma has a bit of armor, but uh, he's basically dead at this point. And we have some more targets around here. Looks like my MRM is out of ammo and my medium laser is destroyed. Jeez. Oh, he's got a PPC on that right arm. I got a I gotta take him out quickly, crap. Whoa, move it, move it. Alright, got him. Now let's go ahead and take out this Owens again. You see that green stuff coming out of my uh, friendly there? Is coolant. Uh, if you're not familiar, you can actually um, eject coolant or uh, do something with it. I don't know if you're really ejecting it, but. You know, you can sort of use your coolant to uh, cool your mech down in a pinch. Because, as you probably know if you're watching this, then uh, battle mechs build up a lot of heat when you're firing your weapons. The little heat meter is off at the uh, left of the radar at the bottom. You can see that when I fire, the uh, heat goes up a bit. Oh, my large laser is destroyed too, and I'm out of ammo. Okay, so... I'm totally uh, weaponless right now, which means I'm just going to go ahead and tell my lance mates to destroy target. everything, Roger. Roger. and I'm going to sit back. Uh, anyway, uh, weapons generate heat, and if you get too high on heat and your mech overheats, then you shut down automatically. 
Or you can override it, but then you might explode. Which is kind of bad, as you might expect. Target so... Destroyed. Take out the designated target. There's a mobile HQ that Inspector. I'm supposed to target. And you only have a limited amount of coolant that you can flush in order to uh, cool yourself down very quickly. Once you're out, then that's it. But it's very important to use that when you can. In MechWarrior 3 is when the coolant was actually added to the series, but you only had two, I think two bursts of coolant that you could use it at, and that was it. And in this you can use uh, as much of it as you want at a time. So let's just enjoy the carnage of my lance picking apart this Great job, team. group. Castle, let's get salvage in here. Looks like a pretty good haul. Affirmative, sir. Tac ops will be on site in 30 minutes. 